Blackbird's on the brink, and we just brought in this beautiful piece of agate. This piece of agate actually came from Brazil. We got it in Tucson at the Tucson Mineral Show. And the reason I got this particular one is because it fluoresces green in black light. So all of these areas are all green. It's beautiful. And I thought if we had it in this uh, particular format, what we could learn about is not only the fluorescence shortwave, long wave, but we could do shortwave and also shortwave. And this is how we're going to do it. This is augmented reality. This is our AR. This will sit on a kiosk in front. And it has a target. And this is this rock floating in the air. But in short wave, when we press it, this is what it looks like. So being able to understand that just because we're in a cave and we see it with our eyes, we don't have any idea what we're looking at unless we put some short wave or a long wave, which is black light, on them and see exactly what is there. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not really brilliant and a lot going on beyond our senses. So that's what that's about for us here at uh, Birds on the Brink. When you look at the poster behind, the poster is about is the laurel uh, caves. And all the stalactites and the stalagmites, when you go in with black light, also fluoresce beautiful colors. It is stunning. And there are caves all over the United States that you can go in now in short wave and long wave, and they start to just turn into paintings of all kinds of colors. And we didn't realize what the stimulators were and that they were in our minds already. So that's our mining introduction. All right, this is Maxine, and we are in the hatch hut at Birds on the Brink in one of our wonderful murals here. This is a whole display about the rainforest. It's a story on here, and the story is about the animals, several animals we've chosen that are, are, are threatened. So we have the threatened, the list of threatened um, animals in the rainforest. And on the bottom over here, we have the termites. The termites aren't threatened, actually. They are there to be able to help the rainforest move through the climate changes. Termites are brilliant for that, so we're looking for them. Now, if you look here, it looks just like a wonderful, beautiful mural. But this is what another one of our augmented reality pieces. And let's start right here. And right here, you're going to be finding, when you put your tablet up, a leopard. And the leopard is terribly threatened. And this is what you'll see, is he comes out and is his wonderful self, OK? Now, the next one, I'm going to take this tablet off of here, because it's easier. We'll have all these on kiosks so they don't move. But the next thing is the howler monkey. Let me see if I can find where that howler monkey is. Ah, there it is. Right there, the howler monkey. Can you see that? The howler monkey is the loudest mammal we have, and it can be heard three miles away. It has a huge voice. And so everybody knows when the howler monkeys wake up in the morning because they let the whole rainforest know. The second, the third piece that is also, we're working with incredible, incredible threatened process here on Birds on the Brink, we're going to be looking for the macaw. And I can hear it, I can hear it. It's gotta be here somewhere. Come on, come on out, buddy. Come on out, where are you? All right, so this is our AR target of one of our wonderful uh, parrots. This is the macaw, you see? And this one with AR, we can change the speed of its flapping wings. We can change its scale, push it back a little bit, and bring it forward. And then we actually, the person that wants to play with it, can turn them around so you can see all of them. See that beautiful tail when he flaps? And so this macaw, when it sounds, when we have the macaws up in the flight behind us, all the macaws respond to this macaw. And this that's why we have it here, so that it engages all the other birds that birds on the brink and feathered friends. OK, 
Okay, so let's move on then to the termite mound. And the termite mound actually will show up over here when I get the target correct. And I think you can hear the target. You can hear them crunching away. So here they are in their termite mound. And then I can actually, see, because these will be in kiosks, they'll hold them steady, but I can actually touch it and open up and hear all of the termites inside crunching away. You can actually hear them. Crunch, 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 crunch. And then you can close it. Okay.